Uh, this process, this part is not finished yet um, because we only played the 120 uh, minutes um, two days ago. So when the boys arrive today, I have to make a lot of decisions. Um, and then we will line up a team. What I can promise and definitely and say, we, we, we line up a team and only for one reason to try to win the game at Southampton, as, as difficult as it is, um, because that um, obviously is the job to do. And we have to see who is able to help. The 30 extra minutes made a big difference. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we have to see. Just in terms of the way that it's going now, in terms of the difference between yourselves and Manchester City, there are certain echoes or parallels maybe of the season where you finished a point apart with 99-98 with Manchester City so I'm just wondering in terms of your feelings or memories from that season in terms of you you know that final run in what your, what your memories were or what your feelings were at that time I think they won the final 14 matches in a row and then it came down to that last game of the season where you were at I was last match when they played Brighton, right? And then the Brighton went one it up. I could hear it in the stadium. I didn't know that they were one it up, but I thought probably they scored. <laughs> you would um, when the people got aware of it. Um, I knew in that moment it's too early. Doesn't help. If it, that would, they would have heard that sound in the 90th minute, I would have probably celebrated myself. Um, but so it was clear that the city can respond. Um, respond. Um, and then there was the last home game, so we had the, the walk, and I, the only thing I felt was pride um, of the boys. Incredible season, wow, all these kind of things. So I, it was not a, a massive disappointment because it was not a surprise, really, uh, that it happens. But the season was the season was more a surprise than a finishing of the season, to be honest. The way the boys performed, the way we learned to put consistency in our in our performances that made all the difference and I knew in that moment uh, we will get another chance so um, and obviously in life it's all about timing if we would have this year already 98 points or whatever then we could become champion that time it was not even not possible with that amount of points it's all fine I, I really I really um, I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow um, it's a chance it's a big chance I wouldn't say so because it would mean that City I don't know when City dropped points the last time two games in a row historically <laughs> um, so Aston Villa has to play in midweek we are not used to that um, so as much as I'm sure they're all professionals and these kind of things they want to go at City but City is a is a pretty good football team so I don't expect City to drop points there but that has no, no influence on our game for tomorrow so we know um, in the idle world we go in the last match day and are one point behind um, that would be now the, for, from today's point of view the perfect scenario and um, that's what we, are, what we try to do Jürgen, you, you reflected on that tight title race you had before with Manchester City and what's evolved for Liverpool. You mentioned consistency, game management. How else have you seen your team grow since the last time you guys are in this tense battle? I, I, it's, it's a, I enjoy a lot of parts of, um, of our football, to be honest, in, in a lot of moments. but. Uh, the, the, the level we played the first 25 minutes against Chelsea now in the final that was a different level I have to say that was again against we all know how good them, uh, Chelsea is defensively how they closed gaps here and there in, in, in spaces and I thought in these 25 minutes we were really outstanding and I was really happy to see that because that for us we have to, to go from here somewhere um, and, um, and this kind of football against very well organized teams um, Probably, yeah, for sure one of the best in the world and being that dominant I didn't see us doing that too often we're getting better and better and better and better um, in, in, in dominating games and, and controlling games but um, that was for me the next step so that's, um, that was really cool would have loved to see it for 90 minutes but uh, <laughs> um, probably Chelsea too good for that and it's absolutely fine